All right, let's do a quick video again. At the park, you can see it's cloudy. It's uh, Wednesday, October 13th, um, 2021. And it's about uh, 5, 5 p.m., somewhere in there. It's, uh, it's like basically Kansas turned into fall all of a sudden. You know, anyway. All right, what do we got? I didn't want to go over there again on this video because it rained and there's a ton of dirt on that on that uh, little table right there. So I didn't want to do these over there. So I came over here to the trusty bench, but you can already see what they are. So these are Nike Free Run 2s that just came out. And the Free Run is one of my favorite, if not all-time favorite shoe that Nike has ever put out. Uh, it's, I do like the Hirachi too though, but, um, uh, and the SC Trainer is okay, but the Free Run in this version is one of my favorites, so we got it. Paper out. And there's probably paper over here. And thank God for no wind. And look what we got. All white uh, free run twos that just came out. Um, I had like seven different colors of this shoe when it came out. Um, this white version is a little different than the original one that came out because I don't believe the cage was off-white when it came out. These are size 13. Um, you can see they're all molded one piece. There is no um, actual tongue. The tongue is part of the shoe when you look down in it. It's a super breathable shoe. It's a lightweight shoe and it's what basically, in my opinion, started the minimal uh, shoe revolution. Um, the uh, Plus it also, I'm not sure if this one has it. I, they were underneath, originally they were underneath here. Yeah, this one doesn't have it. Um, remember Nike had that little uh, piece that went underneath their shoe to be able to send information to your phone, a uh, little Bluetooth thing. It looks like they didn't, when they re-released these, they didn't put that back in there. And that, I think they discontinued that anyway. So it never really was that good compared to like the Bluetooth and Under Armour shoes. So um, these are 13. I was looking for, I wanted to see what a 14 fe felt like because lately, now my, my foot hasn't gotten bigger, but lately some shoes have uh, like Brooks and I, it's like Brooks. I gotta buy like a whole size up. I have a pair of 13 um, Adrenaline GTS and Glycerin GTS in 13, and man, I'm right at the tip on on that shoe. And the 14s feel better. So this shoe is a little snug, you know, because Nikes do run kind of small as it is. It still fits perfect. I've always liked wearing these without socks anywhere, and I wear a lot of my shoes without socks anyway. Um, or no-show socks. I don't really wear crews. The uh, it does fit true to size. It is like I said, very breathable. You can actually even kind of like see it in there. Um, super comfortable shoe. Again, the minimalistic part of it. The stack and the heel is comfortable. The minimalistic part of it is this was the uh, this wasn't the five zero, I believe. This is the free run two. Yeah, and um, the uh, up in the forefoot. You feel the surface of, of, of the pavement that you're, that you're walking on or the grass or whatever. The stack is okay. So running in these, if you're heavy, you know, if you're like a 250-pound guy, um, probably a little painful. So you might not want to do that. That's what the toes look like on these. And then we'll look at the heel uh, there. Um... It's a very comfortable shoe to wear, but it's not a very cushiony shoe. You, the design of the shoe was to train your foot to be like a barefoot runner, more or less. And then they made a bunch of versions of these shoes too, you know, where there was a higher, like the free run trail or free run um, distance. Um, there was a free run 3.0 
you know, which meant that the distance to the ground was 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 shorter versus the 5.0. This is the two, but I think it's the same stack height as a 5.0. It looks a lot like the ones I just had that I <clears throat> sold. Part of me didn't want to sell them. I had a Volt, a yellow Volt one and a, an atomic orange pair too. I really didn't want to sell them, but I have so many shoes and I buy more shoes all the time. I bought these shoes at Dick's. They didn't sport, they did, Dick's Sporting Goods. They didn't sponsor me and um, no one has sponsored the channel yet. It'd be nice, you know, someone. I'd like to, you know, have fun with this, but even if they don't, it's no big deal. Um, tell me what you think if you've got these. You know, I saw three different colors in these. So my phone died right in the middle of while I was filming, so sorry about that. I had to go charge it up. So anyway, I was wrapping it up anyway, so it was just do a quick little wrap up here. Um, like I said, these shoes just came out. They're 110. Um, I think the color, the multicolor ones are 120 though, but they do fit true to size. It's a little snug. Toolbox is nice, and like I said, you know, it's a minimalistic wear, you know, feel when you when you walk on. So definitely pick yourself a pair up while they're out. I know a lot of people love this shoe and were buying up sizes, and the sales guys even told me that they were running out of them. So, but I'm sure that's not a big deal. You can always find them online. So, anyway, guys, have a good day. Thumbs up, um, stay safe, you know, and get vaccine, get your vaccination and wear your masks and, and uh, just get out and enjoy, you know, buy some shoes. Later, guys.